Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia on a bit of a breezy, rainy day. We've had some really warm weather and now it's took a turn for some kind of chillier weather. Crazy, but um, you know, you've got to take the good with the bad. So, okie doke. Today I am just using up basically a whole pot full of colours that I've been working with throughout the week. So I'm trying to think how I'm going to get those colours if I want to use nearly every one of them to basically, you know, look good and not go into mud. So all of the colours were mixed up with my normal pouring medium, the descriptions in the drop down box. I did add dragonfly glaze, which is like a clear liquid with this holographic to into every one of my paints just to give it this real lustery glistening shine so um, that's available because it's made by folk art that's available in the US UK and in Australia um, from the online supplier Capriol Shabby Chic um, my minimal my minimal piece of art that I did um, is dried lovely so I'm going to just let it fully cure and then I will give it a coat of um, oh yeah this is what I use I have got a video of I use the fusion pouring resin and I just mix it with a little drop of water like that and then I just get a cloth yeah one of these kitchen rolls and damp it pour a bit of the resin on there and it's just a wipe over method and it's a really easy method you don't get cracks because you're you leave that one um, coat to dry for about 15 minutes and then you can recoat it again you just keep wiping over it until it builds up the shine you actually want but this one has got so much glistening in the colors when it's up close I'm not sure if you can see it there but yeah so I will put the link to that particular minimalistic one there um, and I have got a video on my coat what I do to coat so um, but I will be trying um, on camera again to do resin coats and I will be using resin uh, for a small few smaller um, pieces that I have Anyway, without further ado, I'm kind of going to go back in time to a time where I used to just put the whole of my colours on the canvas um, and swipe them. So I'm going to, yes, 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 yes. I'm going to try and think about this to get them making sure that the colours won't muddy up. So I'm going to do... Without further ado, this is the first of my colours. So this is the gold. It's just a bit of gold that I had left. So I'm going to definitely put that in there. And this is kind of just my crazy uh, way that I always used to, um, that I started off when I, I just started off doing my own way of... Um, layering the canvas without kind of any um, rhyme or reason and it just used to come out beautiful this is an antique gold by the way so there's two golds in there now I would like to keep the sort of earthy tones which this I've got a copper and a bronze metallic already made up just bits off so I'm going to keep those kind of to the top they're all lovely colors by the way they're all what I've worked with a lot of blues and earthy tones this week uh, in my pour so that's nice so now just trying to yeah finish the colors off so I can mix my colors for next week and I'll try a different color palette for next week I'll go different maybe bring in all the bright um, bright and beautiful colors again And now because I was talking, I've completely gone off tether. I was going to keep these earthy tones at the top. But anyway, 
my crazy brain must have other ideas for me and it must be going to work on oh you've got to be confident in yourself because who else will be so there you go and now I've got it was the red deep and I'm pretty sure that I added a good squirt of metallic silver and I definitely added the dragonfly glaze because this is just glistening beautifully oh that's such a lovely rich colour I think I might have to go down here to to blazes went my um, idea that I had so there you go things happen and it's um, hopefully it will turn out okay so I've got the orange now so they're all kind of autumny earthy colors just go with it I'll keep the orange around the edges so if I when I tilt off I can tilt off this orange but I will definitely put some orange in there obviously this particular method is a method that you use up quite a bit of paint yo look at that looky looky okay I've got this one little bit of the I think it was cyan blue and it again I put a good squirt of the dragonfly glaze in there haven't done a canvas that's been completely covered in the colors like this for a long time now I, yeah but anyway see if it can comes off and um, turns out okay so 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 what I might do is tilt off I do want to add some white in there I'm just trying to think what I'll actually end up swiping with now might have to make a swipe colour up. Yeah, I'm, I'll see. All be good, I'm pretty sure. They're all colours that will hopefully gel nice and not go into one big muddy mess. Rightio, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to tilt off just tilting your canvas just nice and controlled just nice and relaxed just making sure the whole of your canvas is covered in the paint edges can be run run off because there is lots of paint there to do so so just nice and gentle tilting keeping it kind of centered as you do it oops the days back down the other way all those colours look lovely as it is. Now I can think of all the other things I could have done. I could have done a ring pour. I could have used my new um, multi-chambered cups. But I didn't think at the time. So um, this is what we've got today. This is what we're working with. Just recenter your paints. Quite lovely colours actually together. Beautiful. Now I'm just trying to bring the colours back to so there's not all the colours down one end, just level and it let itself level. Level level. There will be one day when I don't forget my cloth. I'm going to just try. I have some Floetrol and Amsterdam paint already made up. I'm going to. Where is it? Here we go. I've got some float. This is Floetrol and just white Amsterdam paint already made up in this squirty bottle so I might just try a swipe with it first so 
see how we go. I'll just try a bit through here first. Ooh, that went, that was a bit, I wasn't watching. Let's try this. Just drop your, this is my soft plastic viol divider. Wowzers, trousers, look at that. <laughs> this lacing's just beautiful. Right, I'll continue on with the flow troll. I've got a bit. Okay. You get some lovely, lovely lacing when you use Floetrol to swipe with, with Amsterdam paint. It's just beautiful. I'll bring it down and show you close up. Um, the lacing is just gorgeous. And there's no silicone in any of these paints. So the pouring medium that I have underneath is as what I've used, but I didn't add any silicone to the paint because I'm using the flow troll to swipe with. So just bear with me. Try and do this nice and controlled again. Not you don't need too much. You do need to keep your swipe tool wiped off in between swipes so you've got less opportunity for your paints to go muddy. But um, here we go again. Wow, that is really, really laced up unbelievably well. I will bring you down for a close up. So, here you go. Here's the um, lovely lacing. That is, is basically caused by uh, me using the flow troll, the Australian flow troll with um, Amsterdam. I'm not sure myself if the uh, US flow troll works this way because I don't get the US flow troll, obviously. I'm in Australia. Um, but some people have told me yes, it does. So, there you go. Just the most gorgeous, gorgeous lacing. Photographs of this lacing as well. It's really nice to put on your screensaver on your phone. I am getting a bit of um, reflection from the lights above, but look at that. They just look like true gems. Let's so just this, this one up here. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So, on with the next stage. Just trying a little idea that I have to try and, probably would be better if I completely left it to dry. I was gonna try and embellish the center so it looked like a Northern Lights or, but, I'm not sure if it would work. I am just going to try with ordinary white paint with the normal mixture that I've used to swipe down. It's just a trial, so I, uh, and that's all you, you know, when you're trying to, um, you know, you're in the mode for your art room and you just want to experiment with things, then yeah, nothing should stop you. I'm just going to cut that piece a little bit shorter. My swipe, my swipe piece. So I want to. This doesn't work. It's perfectly fine. I can rescue it. Think, think, think. No. I did 
don't think that's going to work. Anyway, on with the next stage, which is my trusty old balloon. I'm not sure if I actually said I hope that I uh, find you all well and good and coping with the current horrible circumstances that's going on in the world. I hope you're, you know, finding some outlet to relax and, um, yeah, chill, chill. So this is definitely my uh, way of relaxing. So just going to do a balloon slide which is push it in and basically slide it down the canvas the same push it in slide it down the canvas do my kisses It's just bringing up all those yummy colours that are underneath when you balloon kiss it. I'll do some rolls, which is basically hold your balloon belly button in the two fingers there, uh, push it in and roll it off. Just leave some nice effects on your camera, on your camera, on your canvas. Cameras, cameras. Ugh. I've made a big blob there, but that will be swooshed off. It's just glistening under all of that. The featheriness is just glistening because of the putting the um, dragonfly glaze in the paint. So I'm not sure whether to just keep the balloon work at the top and leave the bottom with the lace. I think that might be that might be the go. Because I've got this lovely lace here, so it's a bit of a contrast, a bit of yeah I think that would work well in fact I don't want to do too much balloon kissing on this one can you believe I'm sure you're all saying no we don't believe you I just want to get rid of that sort of line and make it more softer in the center there so wipe off your balloon in between the kissing that's what i say so um you don't muddy up your paints that's leaving quite a beautiful effect actually i'm going to leave the lace i am going to leave the lace i'm not going to do much more to that now so if you have a go at this, it's a really good opportunity as well to practice your balloon kissing because you've got so much paint there to work with. It brings the lovely colours that I've already put on the canvas. The balloon kissing is bringing them up again. They're gorgeous. I'm loving it. Back to my old days when I used to just cover the canvas in paint. So Sue, um, one of my YouTube friends and uh, on my Sue Kleidermeister this one is for you because you asked me to um, do the old-fashioned way she called it so Sue I'm being old-fashioned today please wait on people for the photos at the end let me know what you think it's just like really out there full of color just with a little bit of embellishment so it's not too over the top um, but yeah I've enjoyed that so until tomorrow guys there'll be another video out tomorrow and I'll see you then so you take care um, if you're feeling down and out please ring a friend or a helpline um, there's always someone there um, if not find something that gives you joy either way whether it's watching videos or creating art or in the garden or go for a walk a walk seems to clear my head and put me back in a better mood so that's just me. Wait on for the photos until tomorrow. Bye for now.